you've ever had to deal with a system failure, you totally know the drill, right? You're digging through mountains of logs trying to figure out what just broke. But what if those logs could tell you what's about to go wrong? That's what we're digging into today, how AI Ops is basically teaching our logs to see into the future. So let's jump right in. I mean, we've all been there, haven't we? Staring at a screen, scrolling through just endless lines of log files, looking for that one clue after something's already gone completely sideways. But what if we could just flip that whole script? Instead of reacting to problems, what if our systems could just, you know, tap us on the shoulder and warn us before things blow up? Well, that's the big promise of AI ops, and believe me, it is changing the game. Okay, so first things first, let's paint a picture of the problem. The amount of data our modern apps spit out is, well, it's just staggering. We're literally drowning in it. So the problem isn't that we don't have enough information. No, the real challenge is trying to find that one critical signal that's buried in an absolute ocean of noise. And this right here, this visualizes the problem perfectly. Think about it. Back in the day, with a big monolithic app, you basically had one main log file to worry about. It was like watching a single river. But now, with microservices, we're talking about hundreds of different services, each one generating its own constant stream of data. It's not a river anymore. It's a whole ocean. Trying to check that manually isn't just slow. It's pretty much impossible. So to make this super concrete, we're going to get our hands dirty with a real-world example. We've got a single sample log file here, and it's got over a thousand lines of data. It's the usual mix, right? Some info messages, a bunch of warnings, some critical errors. And what we're going to do is pit two completely different methods against this exact file and see what each one manages to find. So how have we typically tried to deal with this flood of data? Well, let's take a look at the classic approach and, more importantly, where it starts to break down. The old school way of doing things is really just a simple search and count game. You write a script, maybe a quick Python or Bash script, and you tell it to look for one specific keyword, like error. If it sees that word pop up, say, more than three times in 30 seconds, bang, it sends an alert. It's straightforward and it's totally reactive. And here's the key thing to grasp. This whole method is limited by what you already know to look for. It's kind of like telling a security guard, hey, only look for this one specific person wearing a red hat right? If a new threat comes along that you weren't expecting, that guard is going to miss it completely because they weren't told to look for it. And that really is the million dollar question, isn't it? What about all those problems you don't know about yet? The really subtle, slow burning ones, you know, like a gradual memory leak that just gets logged as an info message or a database query that's getting just a little bit slower every hour logged as a warning. Your traditional script, it's completely blind to these ticking time bombs because they don't scream error. And this is exactly where AI ops comes into play. It's not just a small improvement. It's a fundamental shift in thinking. We're moving away from finding problems that have already happened to actually predicting problems that are just about to happen. So to put it simply, AI ops isn't just reading your logs, it's understanding them. It uses machine learning to build a baseline of what normal behavior looks like for your system. And once it knows what's normal, it can start to spot weird, suspicious patterns. These are the anomalies. Even if it's a brand new type of problem, it has never ever seen before. Okay, now it's really important to clear something up here because there's a lot of confusion around this. When we say AI ops, we are not talking about using AI to like generate a Docker file or a Kubernetes manifest for you. That's a different thing. That's more like AI assisted DevOps. AOps is all about analysis. It's about using AI to understand the mountains of data, the metrics, the traces, and especially the logs that your systems are already creating. So what's the secret sauce here? Well, the magic behind the AI ops script we're looking at is a machine learning algorithm called Isolation Forest. Now, don't worry, you don't need a PhD in math to get this. All you need to know is that this algorithm is incredibly good at one thing, spotting the odd one out in a giant crowd of data. It literally works by isolating the weird stuff, the anomalies, hence the name Isolation Forest. All right, enough talk. Let's actually put this to the test. We're going to run a little showdown two different Python scripts against that same 1000 line log file. Script number one uses that classic old school count the errors logic. And script number two, that one's using our AIOS approach with isolation forced. Let's see who wins. So let's break down what happened. The traditional script, well, it did its job. It found a bunch of error logs, which, you know, is useful, but it's also exactly what we expected it to find. The AI ops script, on the other hand, well, it found something that the old method was completely blind to. 
And honestly, this is the big aha moment. The AI op script flagged a slow query anomaly. Now think about that. The traditional script just sailed right past it because the log level was only a warning, not an error. But if you've been in the trenches, you know that a slow query is often the canary in the coal mine. It's that tiny early warning sign of a massive database outage that's brewing just over the horizon. And you know what? It wasn't just that one thing. The AI op script also picked up on other really subtle but super critical patterns. Things this simple error counter was totally blind to. Like, it found unauthorized access attempts that were logged as warnings. It found transaction rollbacks that were just labeled as info. These are all huge red flags that the old way just completely missed. So what's the big takeaway from this whole showdown? Look, it's not just about finding a few extra problems. It's about a complete, fundamental shift in how we even think about keeping our systems reliable and stable. Basically, we're moving from a world of constant firefighting to a world of actual fire prevention. You know the reactive model, right? Your pager screams at 3 a.m. because something is already broken, customers are angry, and your team is scrambling. In the proactive AI ops world, you get a heads up during the workday because the system spotted a pattern that suggests something might break soon. This gives your team the breathing room to fix the root cause before it ever affects a single person. So if there's one thing to remember, it's this. We have more data than ever before, but just collecting it isn't the answer. By applying smart machine learning, we can finally start to understand the complex story that our logs are trying to tell us all along. We can find those hidden patterns, and yeah, we can actually start to predict the future of our own systems. And honestly, this is just scratching the surface. As these AI ops models get even smarter, the dream of building truly self-healing systems gets closer and closer to being a reality. So the big question is, if AI can now read our logs and see what's coming, what can it do next? It's an incredible time to be working on this stuff. Thanks for watching.